Hello and welcome to another Raggy's uh, review. So today is actually a cider review. So here we are. This is Major Jane Dry Cider, 6.8% from the Barborn Cider Company in Worcester. Uh, I got this from Low Cost Bear, aka Smiling Grape. So I assume it's a bag in a box and they put it into a Panda Pot bottle. They would have um, used something to get the oxygen out of the bottle. If that's what they do, I don't know. And then poured the cider into the bottle. So we'll pour it out and uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, it's been a few weeks since I've had it. Uh, I do say with this, you know, anything in Panda Pot bottles that, you know, literally don't go too many weeks. I've still got one beer in bottle that I've had for about two years now. I don't think I'll ever drink it, but it's there because it's there. You know, I never got around to reviewing it. And then I forgot and I forgot and I forgot again. So, um, still cider, obviously. Um, light haze on there, golden looking pour, straw to gold pour, no head. <sighs> Smells of apple, you know. I'm no expert when it comes to what variety of apples or anything. So, you know, there are better people out there than me who know their apples genuinely at least you know not people who actually read something before and oh i'm getting i'm getting um cox's pippins on this side even yeah yeah, yeah of course you are <laughs> yeah yeah and i'm getting two million quid for christmas from from the government yeah for being a great worker you smell what bag is cooking you know there are a lot of people who are good at reading and uh, yeah we don't want to go down that route we just be honest and uh, you get what you get, you don't get what you don't get. Oh, it does smell lovely though, lovely. Um, apple, with a slightly, slightly, slightly stewed apple. Oh yeah, definitely slightly stewed. Quite drying. Did say medium dry, didn't it? Dry side, yeah, I thought it said dry. Yeah. Let's check sometimes just to make sure that I'm getting what I'm supposed to be getting. Oh. It's got some wall up to it. I tell you now. So I did a, a cider review earlier and that was quite sweet. This certainly isn't that like that. It's... Uh, far from a, what you call a sweet cider, so straight away, you know, you're getting a good twang on the taste. Oh. Oh. It's a pokey taste on it. Um, no dry, I'm, 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 I'm dry all around my mouth now. A bit like my humour. But, um, yeah, so the same. Yeah. When I talk to people, at least. Yeah. Spend that many time doing, that much time doing reviews these days. I don't really talk to people. I talk to, I talk to my phone more than I talk to people. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Hey, cheers. Cheers, phone. You're my best mate. Best mate in the world. Or talk to myself. So yeah, really dry. Really getting that dryness now. Obviously it's apple. Don't ask me the variety. I wouldn't have a clue. I'd need to go on apple tasting courses um, and, and and to find the you know the finer details. There'll be somebody out there who can go, oh yes, I'm getting a, a bit of Bramley on this and a, a, a slight hint of Dabinette and the, you know other people who are thinking, I'm just getting apple, mate. And then there's other people that oh well, we're getting a bit of red apple, a bit of green apple, and uh, you know there were people that go, no, I'm, I'm not getting none, none of that. I'm just getting apple. So we all get what we get, and um, the main thing is. Does it taste nice? Is it enjoyable? That's really the main uh, thing for the majority of people, not for the, you know, the connoisseurs.
Oh, it lives up to that dry. It certainly is. It uh, delivers a bone smacking dryness. Um, never heard, and that's nothing to do with to the to the people who make the cider. Barburn Cider Company. Yeah, new one on me. Major Jane Dry Cider. Like I say, I do like ciders. Um, <clears throat> when unless they make me very ill and uh, and drunk, then I'm not so good keen. But uh, <laughs> but I do I do like a good cider. You know, friends with um, Stenton Cider Company in Nottingham. Uh, excellent people. Non profit cider company. Um, you know, it's nice that they can do it that way. And, and for the majority, from, from what I hear, for the majority of cider companies, there's little to little money in cider. You know, a lot of it is for the love of what they do uh, as a part time job. So, you know, I take my hat off to that. You know, um, a lot of what I do in life is 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 not really to, you know, on a monetary sense. Oh, beer reviews you know there's no there's no money for me in beer reviews um i've spent literally thousands and thousands but i've met a lot of good friends i've, I've, I've got good friends with breweries some breweries at least uh, <clears throat> and uh, you know develop good you know friendships with pubs and that and uh, yeah it's uh, there's a lot of goodness in the world in that respect So as we can see, it's still got a light haze to it, what you would call a near golden colour pour. More fruity side of nose now, it's it's developed. The air, like I say, air develops um, with anything. Ooh. Very light, easy drinking. Good ABV, you know, don't wallop too much down here, 6.8%. It'll put airs on your chest, um, hopefully not if you're a woman, but, um, you know, that would be quite worrying. Would I drink it again? Yes, yeah, very nice. Um, very dry, I've got the driest mouth now. Um, I have five against other ciders, good 4.4. Out of five. Yeah, very agreeable. And that's it for this review. Thank you for watching. See you soon.